currently data. What is this? These are some cool clicky buttons. Uh, JP, our resident synth fan and drum machine collector, was like, hey, you know, can you get some of those um, switches that you see in some drum machines or, or synthesizers or keyboards that have um, a kind of nice clicky tactile switch and a built-in LED? Um, so I got this sample and I just soldered it up to a breadboard. So when I press the button, the LED lights up. Uh, the LED is it's independent from the switch, um, but I just wired it so that it turns on when I click it. And I got this with black and red LED, gray with red LED, and red with red LED. So I think this is a good start. Well, we come in a couple of packs um, since they're fairly inexpensive. And then um, we'll make a package for them in Eagle CAD so folks can uh, DIY their own 808. All right, Data, what is this? These are knurled knobs. You can tell they're knobs because they're round and they've got a cool pointer. I like that the silver one has a black paint pointer. The other colors have white paint, so it has a good contrast. And the sides are knurled. You can see uh, the machining effect makes them really fun to grip onto uh, and twist on your synthesizer or drum machine. And uh, these come with a set screw, so you can see here the set screw. I've been uh, testing it out with a, a two millimeter hex wrench. And the set screw is nice because it means you can use um, D shaft, right? So you get a classic uh, a D shaft potentiometer or um, rotary encoders, and you can twist uh, just by pressing it in and then uh, setting the set screw. Or if you have a T18 or round shaft knob, uh, you can press fit it in and then also use um, the set screw to set it. So these work with any kind of potentiometer or rotary encoder coming soon to the Adafruit shop. And that's top secret this week. Okie dokie.